Hey guys, it's the Pair and welcome to this uh, video, not a tutorial. Uh, this is just a demonstration of uh, something I uh, was doing just as I was practicing uh, multi-dimensional arrays. Um, and basically, what it is, is a sort of times table. Um, table, basically. A times table. Table. I don't think you need to say the second table. But, uh, yeah. Um, now... Basically, what we're going after is something like this, where you can look at a number up here, uh, and then, so say I want to find uh, the product of 3 times 7. I look for the 3 here, or I look for the 7 here, and then I look for the 3 here, or I look for the 7 here, and then I line them up. So here's the 3 column, here's the 7 row, and that equals 21. Um, now, the, there are a couple of things we need to do here um, before we can actually... Basically, the stuff we need to fill in is this row, this row, this row, this row, this row. We don't actually do um, generate these numbers, okay? These numbers uh, will be there in the first place because we need these numbers to generate these numbers, okay? So basically, we're going to make our multi-dimensional array. It's 8 by 8, so 64 places. Uh, you can see there. 8 times 8, 64. Um, and we're going to first need to insert uh, this row and then this column down here. And we do that with some for loops. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make a for loop. We're going to make it go from 0 to 7. And then we're going to say... Uh, my multi-dimensional array 0 so this will now stay on the top row and then um, 0 i so say i is equal to 5 what it will do is it will look for 0 and then the sixth element because remember the, the 0 offset 0 5 that, that's this place and it will assign i plus 1 which is equal to 6 so, um, that makes 0, 5 equal to 6, okay? So basically, 0, 0 to start with is zero, i plus 1, so that's 0 plus 1 is 1. Then it looks at zero, in 0, 1, my multidimensional array 0, 1 is equal to the second element, and it assigns it i plus 1, so that's 1 plus 1 is 2, and so on until we get this whole row. And then it basically just does the same thing. All we have to do is reverse the i and the 0 around. You can see here it's 0, then i. Here it's i, then 0. Because we're um, going down on the column. We're not going across on the row. And then after we've finished this, okay, we've now inserted values into this row and into this column. Okay. Now what we need to do is generate these numbers. For, uh, not these ones, just from this number here all the way down to 64, so from 4 to 64. Ignore ignore this column in this row though, okay, so just these numbers. And we do that, this is where um, it's a tiny bit more complicated. Um, we do that with a for loop and then a nested for loop inside that, okay. So basically what's going to happen is the first for loop is going to loop through each row, and then the second for loop is going to do each individual element in each row. So for instance, if if um in this in this uh for loop here, i was equal at, at a certain point i was equal to 5, so that would be the sixth row because remember the zero offset. So now we're looking at here, okay? And then j is equal to uh let's say 4, so the fifth element. So sixth row first element, second element, third element, fourth element. Um, yeah, I think that's what we were looking at, wasn't it? Or, yeah, let's just say it was. So now, we've got our i is equal to 5, and our j is equal to 3, okay? And what it does now is it assigns um, the my multi-dimensional array 5, 3, the value of my multi-dimensional array 0, j, so 0, 3, which will get us here, okay, times 
times my multi-dimensional array i0 which will get us uh, so 5 that's 6 0 so what it's actually doing is it's assigning this place the value of this this number here times this and that equals 24 and through uh, that will go through the whole uh, 60 all 64 elements and it will um, assign the correct values uh, but remember we need to insert this row and this column first otherwise we can't generate these okay uh, and now I've just got a second uh, group of four loops to output it so let's take a look and see what happens okay oh we've also got tabs just to make it easy to read so let's say five times four so here's the five row here's the four row. it's easy to go four times five so four and then the five row I'm in equals twenty okay eight eight sixty four seven six forty two and so I'm pretty sure that's enough proof um, just something uh, I felt like doing as an exercise for multi-dimensional arrays um, anyways over and out I don't think I've used too much no anyways so uh, over and out guys